Hi, we're going to go through some speed questions. Uh, it's from the textbook Targeting Math. Uh, if you look at Worksheet 4, you will be able to see this question. So I'll be going through this question. All right, so A and B cycled from town X to town Y. A cycled at 36 kilometers per hour and reached town Y in half an hour. B's cycling speed was 40 kilometers per hour. So what was the distance between town X and town Y and how many minutes did B take to cycle from town X to town Y? Let's look at this question. So first of all, every time you see a, a distance or speed question, always, always draw the the uh, triangle over here. All right? You don't have to draw the actual triangle, just write down distance, speed, time, and that will help you to decide. So you have X and Y, so draw X and Y. And A cycle at 36 kilometers per hour. So A is 36 kilometers per hour. And reached town Y in half an hour. So reached town Y in half hour. B's cycling speed was 40 kilometers per hour. So B's cycling speed is 40 kilometers per hour. Uh, what's the distance between town X and town Y? So what's the distance? Question mark. And how many minutes did B take to cycle from X to Y? Alright, so let's look at this. So if we look at A, we can see that we have the speed and we have the time. We have the speed, we have the time. So we can find the distance. Alright. So let's say distance from x to y is equals speed times time which is equals to the speed is 36 kilometers per hour times time is half an hour all right so that's equals to 18 kilometers all right so the distance between town x to town y is 18 kilometers. So how many minutes did B take to cycle from X to Y? So you have the speed of B, all right? You have the distance, so you can find the time. So time of B from X to Y is equals to time is distance over speed. Distance over speed equals 18 over 40 equals 0 0.45 hour and I need to multiply by 60 because I want to find minutes all right so equals to 27 minutes all right so that's the answer for A and B so let's look at this question. The distance between P and Q was 3600 meters. B started jogging at 835 from P and reach Q at 8.50. At the same time, S started jogging from P at the speed of this. Who jogged at a faster speed and how much faster? All right, so before we start, always write down distance, speed, time. Draw out P and draw out Q. So distance and the distance is 3,600 meters. B started jogging at 8.35. So B started jogging at 8.35 a.m and reach Q at 8.50, so 8.50. So the minutes that he took was 15 minutes. All right, so he took 15 minutes to cover the distance from P to Q. At the same time, S started jogging from P at a speed of 200 meters per minute. So who jogged at a faster speed? So I need to find the speed of B, so the speed of b is equals to speed i need distance i need time so i have the distance which is 3600 i have the time which is 15 minutes so equals 240 meters per minute so if you compare 240 and 200 so uh, b was faster all right so how much faster so you take uh how much Faster, you take 240 minus away 200 equals to 40 meters per minute faster. Alright, so that's the second answer.
Okay, we are moving on to word problems uh, involving speed with two parts in a journey and in the targeting math textbook, this is worksheet 5. So G ran for 30 minutes from X to Y at a constant speed of 15 km per hour. He then continued running for 25 minutes from Y to Z at a constant speed of 12 km per hour. What was the distance from X to Z? So let's take a look. You have X, or oh, before we start, distance, speed, time x y and z so g ran for 30 minutes from x to y so this took 30 minutes uh, at a constant speed of 15 kilometers per hour and then from y to z at for 25 minutes at a constant speed of 12 kilometers per hour distance from x to z how much is it okay so distance we need speed we need time so we have this we can find the distance here we can find the distance here we add them up then we can find this distance okay let's get started so distance from x to y is equals to speed times time equals to speed is 15 times ah the time is a bit tricky so it's 30 they give you in minutes this is in hours so you need to convert the minute to hour which you simply divide by 60 okay so that's the answer the distance from y to z equals to again speed times time equals to speed is 12 kilometers per hour times time is 25 so i need 25 over 60 Okay, so I got this answer and this answer. Add them up, you'll get the total. Okay, so N cycled 48 kilometers from A to B at a constant speed of this. Cycle back from B to A at a constant speed of this. Total time, again, distance, speed, time. Uh, a to B, so N cycled from A to B at a constant speed of 36 kilometers per hour. Uh, and it's 48 kilometers so that's going this way and then coming back she cycled at 40 kilometers per hour so 40 kilometers per hour of cycling it's quite fast huh? um so total time so if i want to find time i need the speed i need the distance i have the speed i have the distance so again from time from a to b is equals to Time, it's distance over speed. Distance over speed equals 48 over speed is 36. All right. And then time from B to A is equals to, again, distance over speed equals to uh, 48 divided by 40 kilometers per hour. So you have the answer. You have the answer. You add this two answer up. That's the total time okay let's look at this question r drove at 80 kilometers per hour for the first four ninth of a journey from his house to a village he completed the remaining 30 kilometers of the journey in 30 minutes how long did r take to complete the whole journey okay so let's write down the triangle first distance speed time so i have my house to my village so 80 kilometers per hour for the first four ninth of the journey. So from here to here is four units. And from here to here is five units. All right. So you have to understand the total is nine units. This is four over nine, five over nine. If you don't understand this part, uh, pause the video and ask for my help. So at this part, he drove for 80 kilometers per hour. Uh, and then remaining 30 kilometers... He drove in 30 minutes. Okay, so how long did... So, total time, question mark. Okay, so first of all, you understand 5 units is 30 kilometers. So, 5 units is 30 kilometers. So, 4 units is... 4 units is... 4 divided by 5 times 30 all right 4 divided by 5 times 30 equals 24 kilometers all right so this part is uh 24 kilometers 
So how long did time? So time, I need my distance, I need my speed. I got my distance, I got my speed, I got my speed, I got my... Uh, I got my speed, I got my distance. I got my time here already. So my time... Time from... Uh, for the uh, four ninth of the journey equals to distance over speed. Equals to distance is 24 kilometers. Speed is 80. So you got the answer. And then this answer plus 30 minutes. That is the final answer. Okay, let's look at this question. L drove for 3.5 hours from X to Y. Constant speed of 80 kilometers per hour. Drove constant speed of 70, return journey from Y to X. What's the distance? What's the driving time? Again, before I start, distance, speed, time. Always, always write this triangle. Draw your X and draw your Y. 3.5 hours, L drove for 3.5 hours from X to Y at a constant speed of 80 kilometers per hour. So it's from X to Y. Drove at a constant speed of 70 kilometers per hour, so returning journey was 70 kilometers per hour. I, that's all you have. So X and Y distance, so what's the distance? And what is Y to X time? So time from Y to X, question mark. Okay, so distance, I need speed, I need time, I have time, I have speed. So distance from x to y is equals to speed is 80 times time is 3.5. Alright, that's the distance. And uh, y to x driving time. So time from y to x is equals to time is distance over speed. Okay, so I have my distance of x, y, which I found over here divided by speed, which is 70 kilometers per hour, and that's my answer. Okay, now we are moving to average speed. It's worksheet 7, all right? These are some of the questions you will see in worksheet 7 of the Targeting Math uh, workbook. So X and Y are 150 kilometers apart. Train leaves X and travels the first 126 kilometers at 72 kilometers per hour before completing the remaining journey at 1 and 1 quarter hour. Find the average speed. All right, so distance speed time average speed means total distance divided by total time all right then you get the average speed so let's take a look i have x and i have y uh, it's 150 kilometers apart train leaves x at and travels the first 126 kilometers at 72 kilometers per hour before completing the remaining journey in one and one quarter hour. All right, find the average speed. So I need to find the total distance. I need to find the total time taken. So I can find the time for this part. Time for the first part is uh, time is distance over speed equals to 1, 2, 6 over 72. Alright, let's find the answer. Uh, then I add this answer. Okay, let's find it. Wait, uh. Equals to 1 and 3 quarter hour. So total time, total time is equals to 1 and 3 quarter hour plus 1 and 1 quarter hour equals to 3 hours. Uh, so now I need my total distance, all right? So my total distance is actually over here, which is 150. Therefore, my average speed equals to total distance over total time, which is equals to 150 divided by 3. So it's 50 kilometers per hour. That's my average speed. So now we are moving on to word problems uh, involving speed with two moving objects. It's the worksheet 8 of your targeting math workbook. So a car and a bus traveled from P to Q which were 
300 kilometers apart. Car started one and a half hours later than the bus, but arrived half an hour earlier. The speed of the bus was 60 kilometers per hour. What is the speed of the car? Car reached queue at 6 p.m. What time did it start traveling? Okay, so long question. Let's put this first. So distance, speed, and time. All right, so let's draw P and let's draw Q. And we know that they are 300 kilometers apart. Uh, the car started one and a half hours later than the bus, but arrived half an hour earlier. Let's put that aside first. So the bus, the speed of the bus was 60 kilometers per hour. So we have the distance, we have the speed, we can find the time equals to distance over speed equals to 300 over 60 equals 5 hours. So we know that the bus took 5 hours. The car started one and a half hours later but arrived half an hour earlier. Therefore, the car, the time of the car is equals to 5 hours minus one and a half hours minus half hour equals to 3 hours. So the car took 3 hours to finish up the whole distance to Q. So speed of car, speed of the car is equals to speed is distance over time. Distance over time equals to 300 over 3, 100 kilometers per hour. The car reached Q at 6 p.m. What time did it start traveling from P? So 6 p.m. I know. Let's draw my timeline. Uh, I took three hours to start traveling from P. So one hour, two hour, three hour. So one hour, two hour, three hour. So five, four. So it's 3 p.m. All right. So the answer is 3 p.m. and 100 kilometers per hour. Okay. We're now looking at worksheet nine of your targeting math workbook. Uh, this is the question. At 10 a.m., G drove from A to B. At 11 a.m., K drove the same route from A to B at a constant speed of 80 kilometers per hour. When K reached B at 1 p.m., G had another 10 kilometers to travel. Find G's speed. All right, distance, speed, time. 10 a.m., G drove from A to B. So G is at 10 a.m. Okay, usually I write the time on the other side. All right, so let's write it over here. 10 a.m. G drove from A to B. At 11 a.m., K drove the same route from uh, a to B at a constant speed of 80 kilometers per hour. So this is 11 a.m. So by this time G, where the time by the time K started, G has already driven for one hour. Okay, when K started, when K reached B at 1 p.m., G had another 10 kilometers to travel. So time of K, time that K took is 1 p.m minus 11 a.m. equals to 2 hours. So it's 2 hours. So distance from A to B equals to distance is speed times time. Speed times time equals to uh, speed of K is 80 times time is 2. So it's 160 kilometers. So distance of A to B, it's 160 kilometers. When K reached B at 1 p.m., G had another 10 kilometers. So G was somewhere here. All right, so this is 10 kilometers. So therefore, G has traveled 160 minus 10, which is 150 kilometers. And this is at 1 p.m. Because at 1 p.m., K has reached B, right? Uh, so therefore, at 1 p.m., there was still 10 kilometers. So from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., it's actually 3 hours. So for 3 hours, uh, G traveled for 150 kilometers. So find G's speed. So speed of G is equals to, speed is distance over time. Distance over time is equals to 150 divided by time is 3 hours. All right, so it's 50 kilometer per hour. Okay, so that's the answer.
So next question, a car took 4 hours to travel from X to Y, a bus took 6 hours to travel from Y to X. Both the car and the bus started at 11.30am, what time will the car and the bus meet? So I have X and I have Y. My car uh, takes 4 hours to travel from X to Y. And the bus takes 6 hours to travel from 6 hours to travel from Y to X. Both of them started at 11:30 a.m. 11:30 a.m. At what time will the bus and the car meet? So draw your distance speed time again. Okay, so the formula for this, right, it's uh, when two people are traveling in the opposite directions uh, and you are looking at time to meet is equals to the distance apart divided by the sum of the speed. Alright, so that's the formula. So time is this, so you need to find the distance apart and you need to add the speed together. Alright, so uh, speed 1 plus speed so when you add them together, divided by the distance, that's the time that they meet. So let's look at this. So we are not told what the distance is, but it's okay because they travel the same distance. So let's call this distance one unit of distance. And, uh, or we can just, and therefore the speed of C is equals to one unit over a four. And the speed of B is equals to one unit over six. So we need to add the distance, the two speed together, the speed of the car and the speed of the bus is one unit over four plus one unit over six is equals to five over 12 units, kilometers per hour. All right, so that's the added total distance. So now I want to find the time to meet is distance apart divided by the sum of the speed. So time to meet equals to, hey, wait, uh, let me just write this properly. So time to meet is equals to distance apart, which is one unit divided by uh, sum of the speed, which is five over 12 units, kilometers per hour. Okay, and if you work this out, it's actually 12 over five hours is equals to, 2 and 2 over 5 hours. So what time will the car meet? So it's 11.30 plus 2 and 2 fifth hours. Okay, and that's the answer.